this video i will show you my favorite way of dealing with the paris defense and the paris defense is when black plays this early d6 uh, against your italian game so we get to this position after e4 e5 knight f3 knight f6 bishop c4 and then black plays d6 one of the more passive approaches but you still will see this a lot when you're playing especially online so let me show you how i would deal with this so in this position there are many legal moves for white but i would go with castles first this is just a principal move we develop two pieces put a pawn in the center we're gonna castle sticking to the basic opening principles and we are also in a way setting up a trap here then it is black to move and here of course there are many different options for black the most played variation is bishop g4 pinning this knight another really pop popular line is knight f6 there's also bishop e7 here and also bishop e6 so we're going to take a look at all of them but first bishop g4 so there are four variations in total this is our first variation so black tries to pin this knight to our queen and in some variations black will also try to jump in with their knight and create a, a double attack on this on our knight i would personally recommend in this position to play this move c3 and there is a really nice id after playing c3 but i also wanted to show you that if you are someone who loves opening traps and playing tricky against this bishop g4 you can also play the move knight to c3 and this is if you are someone who loves setting up traps i would not personally recommend this because if black plays perfectly this is going to be more drawish because we can no longer put the pawn here on c3 but if you're someone who likes traps you can always try this and the main trap here is that most players with black will play knight to d4 and they will play knight to d4 simply because this was their entire plan they want to attack you twice here on f3 and here black already fell for a trap because we have knight takes e5 knight takes e5 and if black captures the queen which is the most played move there's actually a famous checkmate legal checkmate uh, which is bishop takes f7 check king is forced to go up and then knight goes here and this is actually a checkmate because of all of these squares are covered and our bishop is also protected so this is a checkmate and um, if black sees this and they try to do something else for example they realize i cannot capture this uh, i will capture the knight well here you can just capture the bishop and here you also want material you want to pound in this variation also you have three developed pieces what is this knight doing here so that is possible but if black plays this well for example with a move like knight f6 which is the second second most popular the most popular is actually black falling for this trap uh, this is the second most popular here this is going to be a bit more drawish so that is why i recommend going for this move c3 and not playing for the trap but it's up to you to decide knight f6 and then we're going to go with d4 so we are immediately going to go uh, for a full central that is why we pushed pound to c3 because we want to support this and go for a central push of course you can always say does black have to play knight f6 no they can also capture here but then you capture back with the queen um, they can play something like knight here to attack this weak pawn and i would not defend this with the pawn i would just play rook up here to d1 and then we're gonna push this eventually uh, so that's fine knight f6 we're gonna take a look at sometimes you will see queen f6 which i think is a good and tricky approach uh, by black queen f6 trying to put double pressure here on this knight so right now black is actually threatening if i just make a random move black is actually threatening to take this and destroy our pawn structure which is not necessarily super bad but it is a possibility against this i would just recommend dropping back with the bishop and then most likely black will cause the queen side which is not a good move and then you can play pawn d3 bishop here and you can just start a full-on queen side attack that was just quickly to show you those variations but most of the time probably you will see this move knight to f6 so knight to f6 and here we're gonna play d4 so we are um setting up some tricks here as white but these are really decent tricks uh, even if black doesn't fall for them we always have a good position so there are a couple of things here first off you will notice that this e4 pawn is not protected so black could technically just snatch this pawn for free straight up uh, which is the most played move in this position black would also capture in the center 
and then they can still capture this free pound if they want to so they can capture in the center they can still capture this free pound uh, or they can play bishop e7 so a couple of different variations here i'm going to take a look first at what if they capture this pawn. so if they capture this pawn for free which is the most played we are going to play rook to e1 and the goal is to get the rook on the same diag uh, the same file as the enemy king so we could potentially have some tricks here the knight also has to move so probably knight back to f6 it's also possible they capture here but that's not really a problem you can capture back with the queen so knight to f6 and then we can play queen to b3 and now this is already problematic and basically borderline losing for black because we have double pressure here on this f7 pawn and black has to defend this uh, many players with black actually capture here and many of these variations as well but then there is just a checkmate here with bishop takes king is forced to go up and then queen checkmate if black defends for example with a move like queen d7 now you can take here in the center um let's say black takes here and then we can take with the knight we are attacking the bishop we are attacking the knight we are attacking the queen so this is pretty annoying for black if black takes this with the knight bam we can go in with the rook Rook gives a check, um, probably something like bishop here to e6, and then the queen can capture here um, to win this pawn, potentially win this rook, or you could also first play knight d2, because of course uh, black can also go in with the queen, here black can go in with the queen as well, but we can always block with the bishop, and if they capture this bishop, we can capture this rook. So pretty tactical lines. But all of these are really bad for black, of course. King is still stuck in the center. We have all this pressure, developed pieces. There are many different lines, but all of them are pretty devastating for black. So uh, it's not that good as black to capture here on uh, e4. But you also, and um, capturing on e4, by the way, is the most played variation. Also, capturing here on d4 is something you will get a lot. Then you can just capture. Of course, capturing this is really bad because now we got rook e1. And this knight is pinned to the enemy king. Uh, the best defense is probably something like uh, pawn to d5 because this both defends the knight and also attacks our bishop. But then we have this move knight to c3. And of course, if they capture this bishop, we can capture with the rook. That's a check. And we're also picking up this. Unless if they block with the bishop, but then we have d5 and we are also winning material. So crazy lines in every single variation. Um, yeah, if they capture here, of course, we can still capture. There's still a lot of pressure here on this. If they ever capture the bishop, we take with check. So these lines are really tactical and there are many different variations. But the main thing you need to know is that capturing uh, this free pawn is basically never really good for black. Capturing here is not so good and capturing here is even worse because this uh, is already completely opened up and we can immediately pin the knight. Um, so some interesting lines. There are some other lines as well, but I'll put those in the uh, leeches study for you to take a look at after watching the video. Um, so the most popular line is captures, captures. And then here it's best for black to play a move like bishop e7 or maybe even capturing here, which is really popular. So many people with the black pieces will always capture here. And against those lines, I actually recommend taking back with your g-pound. Because in many of these variations, if you take back with your queen, at some point you might be dropping this pawn here on d4 and black and capture this. And I'm not saying this is terrible for white, but we're kind of losing our edge. We're kind of losing our attacking chances. So if black ever captures on f3 and threatens to win this for free after you recapture with the queen, the goal is just to capture with the g pawn. And this might look completely strange to you, but you have to realize we have an incredibly strong center. We already have this bishop developed. And this open file is actually not a weakness. It is a strength. Because we're going to put the king in the corner. And then also put this rook here on the g file. And this is going to have a lot of pressure against the enemy position. And black basically, because of his orientation of the pieces, has no way of attacking our king. You will see this knight cannot come in. This queen is blocked by the knight. And even if the queen goes here, there's nothing she can do. This knight has no way of getting to us. Our center is just too solid. This bishop is still stuck. So black cannot punish us for creating this weakness. And that's why this weakness here is actually not a weakness, but a strength since we will be able to put the rook here. Uh, let's say bishop e7. 
we can just do normal developing moves. You don't have to rush with the king here. You can just play normal developing moves. We get an extra knight in the center, and our center is just so beautiful, so strong. White is basically winning in every single line. Castles, and then we can put the king into the corner. Let's say they develop the queen, and then you can put the rook here. So that's the way I would recommend playing. Always play knight c3 first, and then put your king and rook like this. And here we already have pressure. Let's say uh, black is trying to get in with the queen, trying to prove that we have some sort of weakness. But you will see there's basically no weakness. This is protected, this is protected. The knight cannot come in, there's nothing black can do. And you can even play a move like G rook g3, and that chases away the queen. So black either has to go back uh, completely or they have to go back to h5, which is the most popular line, trying to keep an eye on this pawn. Then you can just develop the bishop to the center, pawn to a6. Again, really hard to find good moves for black. Queen here, and we can even double up. And now we are immediately threatening to capture this g7 pawn. So black probably has to push. Um, going back with the queen is not possible because our bishop would capture. So probably pushing is the only option for black and then you can even play queen to g2 and then we can triple stack on this file and we can also play rook h3 so for example after b5 bishop back uh, black's trying to capture this bishop and then rook h3 and we are just winning a free queen at this position because the queen is completely trapped and that is just one line the main thing i want to show you is that if you get this variation of course, you will have a really strong center and you will have all of these ideas. It will always be different depending on what black plays, but you just have to keep these general ideas in mind and you will be fine. Of course, also, black doesn't have to capture here. Most of the time they will at some point, but they don't have to capture here. Uh, let's say, for example, they play bishop e7, which is also possible. But I would recommend to just uh, play it chill, just play something like knight c3. Uh, if they castle, you can uh, you can let them castle, you can play rook e1. And I would, for the longest time possible, still let them think that they have this trick. For as long as you possibly can, let them think they have this trick. So don't play something like bishop e3 here, defending. Just let black think they have this. And eventually they will probably capture here. And then you can capture with the g pawn and you get this structure. And if black really, really doesn't want to capture this, for example... Here we play rook e1 and then black plays something like uh, a, a6. We can play a3. Again, I would not recommend playing this. Let's say b5. You can go back with the bishop, probably a2 immediately. Again, at some point, black will capture this. It's, it's too tempting to, not to capture this. But if they really don't want to capture this, of course, at some point, you can always play bishop to e3 and just protect this. And you are also completely fine in those positions. The next thing we will look at is this variation. So again, our Paris defense, but here what to do if black plays the immediate knight f6 instead of going for bishop to g5, because bishop to, g, uh, bishop to g4. Bishop to g4 is actually not necessarily the best variation as we have just seen. So let's take a look at knight f6. Against knight f6, you can basically immediately go for this move knight to g5. And you can see we have this basic plan in the Italian game here where we can uh, do a fork on this square. So for example, if they play a random move like bishop here, we can do this fork on the queen and the rook. And we can only do this, of course, because black blocked his own queen, and now we have this square for the knight. If um, the knight is not here and the queen is attacking the square, that's not possible unless if you can activate your bishop. So here we can immediately go for it. And in this position, it's already quite hard for white to defend from this um, there are two variations basically uh, which kind of defend the position that is bishop e6 trying to uh, uh, trying to oops trying to take away this diagonal and also d5 i think d5 is probably the best approach but we're going to take a look at bishop e6 first so if they play bishop e6 you can take this with the knight and take this with the bishop and that's already a free pawn plus it's hard for black to castle in these positions because we have our bishop here we are also giving them this pawn, so basically it's equal at this point. But we can play a move like d3, chase away the knight, drop back with the bishop to a really centralized position, still keeping an eye on this square. And then again, it's hard to play this from the black side. 
let's say you try to uh, develop your bishop just a move not necessarily the best move and then you will see well there's no way for black to castle so probably they have to play something like queen here bishop here maybe they will castle queen side but that's also not necessarily so good because we will have an easy time attacking them here on the queen side so uh, i don't think bishop e6 is a good defense from black uh, pound to d5 is also possible but it's really tricky because you can capture this as white and basically black cannot take this pawn with their knight that's just not a good move and it is the most played move 75 percent of games here black took this and this is immediately losing because of a beautiful tactic knight takes f7 forking queen and rook and if the king takes bishop, queen f3 giving a check and also attacking this knight the king has to move we can win this knight if the king goes here trying to protect this knight that's just really bad because we have knight to c3 and this is attacking the knight once more uh, let's say maybe knight to d4 they are trying to do some tricks while well, there are multiple lines but you can just take this with check the king has to go somewhere and then for example here check the king has to go here and then this is a checkmate and there are many different lines here but every line is just devastating for black so black cannot capture this so bishop e6 is bad this is good but black cannot capture this and most people go wrong and they capture this the best approach from black is probably knight a5 attacking this bishop and they only play this d5 pawn takes just to block this diagonal and then you can give a check again annoying to play this from the black side you probably have to play c6 takes uh, you don't really want to capture this with the knight because well white can just set up this uh, this threat once more uh, even though this is actually played sometimes so you can just remember to set up the threat again but black will probably take with this pawn and now you have this crazy situation the knight's here on the rim defending this the bishop cannot capture this but in those lines you can actually drop back bishop e2 is possible but i also think bishop d3 is a fine move here um and you will see why in a moment because basically we will want to reroute with this knight because this defense from black is the perfect way of stopping our tactics and if they ever play h6 you want to be able to go back with your knight here or here uh, but for example here h6 you can go back to e4 and if they capture you can now take with the bishop and in this variation uh, yes black is able to protect from our threat so we didn't get any crazy uh, tactic but at the same time black also has a really terrible position since this pawn is really weak this queen side has been completely destroyed white is also up a pawn so not that good from black uh, just going to show you a variation bishop there d3 knight develops and it's actually interesting to go uh, for knight d2 here the main idea is you probably are going to get attacked by f5 and then you want to go back with the bishop to f3 and having the knight here oops having the knight here helps to stop this e4 push from black and then you can just play b3 and develop the bishop here so that is interesting because if you don't know this and you go for a, a line like knight here sometimes it can be annoying f5 bishop here and then some variation this push or uh, even other lines so i would recommend going for the variation with knight d2 then we're going to take a look at two more variations that are interesting and that is what if white immediately plays this bishop to e6 here in this uh, mainline position i would recommend just capturing it this already creates some type of weak pawn here and then we're going to play rook to e1 uh, you can of course say well why would you not develop but you will soon see rook to e1 as a really good move here because after knight f6 c3 the goal is basically to go for a really quick push here in the center and if you develop again you don't want to play this you are blocking your own chances of playing pound to c3 if you play something like d3 you're just too slow because we want to play an aggressive move and immediately d4 is actually not that good in this line so that is why i like to go for um rook here first defending this pound and then c3 and now of course black cannot capture this this is defended let's say bishop e7 and boom we play d4 and we're gonna play aggressive for the center takes takes we already have a good central control castles knight in and you can see things look pretty similar but it's white who has more space and more activity because of the placement of our pounds and also this queen and rook are already working together here uh, and then 
black has many different moves in these positions and d5 and e5 these two pushes are the most played because black wants to fight back against our center and both of these pushes are not that good so we're gonna take a look at them uh, i'm gonna take a look actually at e5 first because e5 is the worst push so e5 challenging our pawn and we're gonna play pawn to d5 attacking this knight and if you take a look at this this knight doesn't really have any good squares actually knight b8 is the best move um going back going in is not so good of course takes 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 and we win a pawn and going here uh, is not that useful because the knight from here doesn't really have a future and it can also be attacked by h3 and then after it gets attacked by h3 it probably has to go back here all the way to the side and white is just gonna play knight g5 and then jump in and if we were able to get here we would also have a fork so probably black wants to move the queen and then black also has to move the rook maybe here but this is already a really strong knight and we are in a winning position here as white uh, strategically of course you still have to play this out but strategically we are winning and we can even break open the center at some point with a move like f4 as well so not really a good line for uh black Pound to d5 is also often played, but then you can just play knight g5 immediately, attacking this weakness. Again, we are threatening to do a fork, so probably the queen has to move. And then you can just take this pawn on e6, and that is amazing. And this is where many players go wrong as black. They push this, and then they didn't anticipate knight g5, and they think, well, I can just defend this, but you can just capture this with the knight. And if the queen takes, we're going to take here with the pawn. And of course, this is a discovered attack on the queen and also a double attack on the queen and on the knight. So the queen has to move in this line. Let's say queen f7, top engine choice as well. But then we can take here, uh, black takes, and we also won a pawn and also destroyed this position from, white, uh, from black. And then we have these uh, active pieces as well. So that is how you can play. Uh, this variation of course here uh, I, as i said both of these pound pushes are bad for black but they don't need to push this but again if they don't push this what are you going to do as black are you going to play something like a6 and be passive that's possible but still we have pound to d5 uh, if they push that's uh, of course losing the knight if they move the knight that's losing this pound so they are basically forced to capture we can capture and then in these lines, we're going to try and jump in here with the knight as well. If black plays something like a uh, knight here, you can win a pound, but you just can also go here and then jump into e6. So jumping into e6 with your knight is your main ID in these lines. And then the last variation I want to show you, uh, which I think is the best option for black. So if you want to defend uh, against Italian with black, you probably should play bishop to e7 that's also i think the grandmaster most played move let me take a look yeah the grandmaster most played move bishop to e7 bishop to e7 and here we can immediately play d4 as white because of course this knight is not here so there's no problem of uh, capturing here takes takes with the knight uh here knight f6 of course uh, i think online you will also get knight takes uh, a lot but you can just recapture with the queen so let's say knight here, knight to c3, castles. I would recommend just capturing here on c6 and damaging this pound structure. You don't need to play this, but you can play this. Other moves that are possible are also uh, bishop to f4. But this is kind of your chance to damage the pound structure if you want to go that way. Uh, so you can choose playing that or playing um, bishop f4. I'm actually going to take a look at the masters database. The masters also play rook e1, h3. So there are many different lines here, but this is pretty solid from black. Uh, I would say you can always capture and then play bishop f4. Probably you will capture and you can try to fight against this weak structure from black, but there's no immediate way to make a lot of progress. You can also play uh, bishop f4, which I think is a nice move because for example, rook here, rook goes in, uh, let's say bishop. Well, bishop can actually not go there. Let's say bishop, well, bishop is hard to, de to develop maybe here something like this and some variations even f3 uh, and this position is pretty solid from white but also from the black side and this will be more of a strategic long-term battle uh, but this is one of the online one of the least played variations from black and i think it's one of the best you don't have to worry playing against this as white 
you just have pretty simple plans but you don't have any immediate tactics or amazing uh, attacking plans so if you enjoyed this video i would love to ask you to subscribe to my channel and that is it as always i will see you in the next one bye